An old factory set for demolition could cause some traffic troubles when this smokestack tumbles tomorrow. Yeah, so if you are in the Lachlan area around noon tomorrow, you could be delayed. And WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller showing the impact it could have on you. For many years, it's been a symbol of Lachlan. We had looked at possibly even keeping it there as some sort of a, a, a memorial. The cost to maintain the old smokestack was just too much for the village. Now, the hope is removing the Stearns and Foster Mattress Company smokestack will be a sign of progress. It's more than an eyesore. I mean, the building was literally falling down. I mean, I came in one Saturday morning to find a big part of the building laying across our major street. It's the last piece of several buildings abandoned years ago. Timing is everything proves true with this demolition project. ODOT is working on Interstate 75. It didn't take much convincing by the village to have ODOT include the stack in its project. ODOT, who is financing the demolition, said they don't want to have that kind of a structure right next to a major highway, especially since that major highway is being widened. Uh, it, just, it was just too dangerous. Another Lachlan symbol is Muller Roofing Distributors. It's been here since 1875. Becky Turner's worked here for two decades. She's very familiar with the large stack. It's huge, and I guarantee it's going to be frightening when it comes down. I guarantee they had to think about how this was going to come down, because do they close off traffic? In fact, ODOT plans to close the north and southbound lanes of Interstate 75 for at least 10 minutes, maybe up to 30, around the northern part of the Lachlan split. Several streets around the stack will also be closed. They're going to dig out. Uh, uh, the foundation on one side, on side facing Shepherd, and uh, and literally push it over. Yeah, they plan to just push this over because the uh, administrator said to do this uh, as some sort of implosion might be just too dangerous uh, right where this is located. So all of this will take place tomorrow at noon. Since we've been out here today, several people have stopped by, asked what time and said they plan to be here as well. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News oh, 5. Oh, yes, you know people are going to want to take pictures. By the way, in its heyday, the old Stearns & Foster Mattress Company employed hundreds of workers.